How's it going guys? Welcome back to Horus. We are now in chapter 3. We suddenly have our crazy ability to do some world flipping. There's something kind of- wait, oh am I jumping on the side of the box there? Oh, I couldn't understand why this was causing the camera to wig out a little bit. You can even get right on the- right on the corners there. I thought it was only gonna be walls and stuff that I could walk up and down like that. Oh man. You could really get a good run going then, and just kind of uh, explore the entire thing. Oh, that's cool. You can see, like, exactly where the stairs had collapsed. Oh, there's going to be so many instances where you After have to do the, the craziest acrobatics. And the stairs had collapsed. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew I wanted to get back upstairs. Oh, is there going to be a way? I would need a key to open it. I had to be careful. The electricity was going haywire in some places. Yeah, there's gonna be weird sections where I have to like do crazy jumps across, like to to properly navigate the yeah, so, so, something like like this. Maybe not the strongest example, but there's gonna be lots of stuff like that. I gotta keep a close eye out for that key. I don't know if that's like a bonus, like a secret area or anything, or if it's something I inevitably am going to have to do. Uh, we're starting to learn a little bit like what the range is of where the, the world flipping will kick in, because like this isn't enough. That's too far away. It's How you don't cross the halfway point or whatever. Months? Yes, I was so confused. Oh, all Where the cobwebs. Gone? There's a good chance it's been a pretty long while there, buddy. I didn't try to go outside. I could go try and collect the teddy bear if it's right out the front door, maybe? I was slightly scared. This was the first time I had been outside on my own. Oh, wow. That is uh, a little bit intense. The music. <laughs> I, I do like the sections of the game that have kind of original music. Maybe none of it's been original, but I, the, the referentialness that's going on, that's a word, uh, is nice too. Zooming so far. God, they have a massive gorgeous house, don't they? That seems I like too much I house, to you do. know? This had to be my purpose. I would clean a million things so I could become a real boy. So I can become a real boy. Whatever that meant, he doesn't even like fully appreciate. It is kind of annoying how many of the things require like, a, the, the bigger the thing, the more you have to stand in front of it. Like the little cups and glasses and things. You, you can just walk straight past, but other things you have to wait a little bit. Uh, I do, two, six, three, five. If I collect one bike, uh, nothing changed with that one bike there. I'm oh, two set. Oh, 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 okay. So the bike counted for more than I realized. Yeah, I think. Okay, these things like the bike and everything that take longer to pick up do count for, for more individual junk pieces. It made sense that the car did uh, because it's like, oh, there's probably a bunch of cans and stuff in the back of the car. But otherwise, I don't really understand. Can I not climb this stupid ladder? I apparently cannot, or at least I can't figure it out currently. Ah, another locked section. But I don't really understand how the- I guess if you ripped the bike apart into different pieces... What is- what am I hearing? This sounds horrible. I thought I could maybe land on top of that. At first I thought it was like wailing cats or something. I- oh, that's how I get up there. Ah. But it, I think it's like people. What is going on down there? I feel like I need to become hero robot again and rescue some people because this sounds terrifying. Uh, two pork sausages, only 10 pounds. Tinker Tailor Soldier Pie. <laughs> Soldier's Pie. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy is, is a, a book and eventually a movie, but when you do Soldier's Pie, it kind of becomes Soldier Spy. That's really clever. The celebrity one I can't really read or anything. The Tinker Tailor one's really clever. I like that. I hated the hated the movie. It was a terrible movie. I hear it's a great book and that the movie really relied. Oh, they're probably in the burning building. That would make sense. The movie really relied on you having read the, the book, so I just didn't get it. One of the bedrooms. 
but the stairs were blocked by a wall of fire. You're vulnerable to water and electricity. Fire's not an issue. <laughs> oh, he actually burns up much more intensely than I thought he would. It's cool, you can see the fire reflecting on him and everything. We're not gonna collect all the, the plates and junk? That's not considered junk to you in this particular scenario? I thought maybe this would be his invulnerability though. That he would be safe from fire. Nope, he literally burns up like crazy intensely. I think, uh, I think this house is a write-off, man. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to save anyone. Oh, I just realized <laughs> we're, we're supposed to go around it this way. Now I've figured it out. The now I'm a genius. turned out to be a man, a woman, and their children. Oh. They were confused and terrified. It's even like a baby. At first, the man looked like he was ready to fight me. Now is but not the time, I dude. Them that I was there to help. He calmed down. Okay. There was no way I could carry them all at once, so the children went first. Smash away through the window. Oh man, this is gonna get uh, like worse before it gets better. Well, obviously it's not gonna get better. Uh, can you kids hold on tightly? That's good. I'm unable to run. I can't. I can't even engage running while doing something like this. I dropped the children off at the front door. But I feel like it's gonna start burning worse. I can't use the same path friends. now or something. I couldn't leave, not while people were in trouble. Oh, hero robot in action. Whoops, ran too far. But yes, there's only the one door there now. He's got like this, this, uh, deep golden moral core that he, he can't leave while people are in trouble. He's just trying to be helpful, Horace. It's what he was I made was to do. Much worse. So the woman went next. I'm sorry, dude, you're a pretty big guy. It's uh, unfortunate that this world exists in only two dimensions because if there was a third, oh, I, okay, there we go, that's a quick way. <laughs> um, then Horace could just jump out the window and then walk out the side of the building and they would be safe. That seems like that would be the fastest got route. To the front door. All the woman said was, thank you, please hurry. I'm starting to think they didn't cast a real voice actor. Uh, well, starting to think. I've kind of suspected it for a while. Uh, but I, I'm just now appreciating the cleverness of it because the entire game is narratively filtered through Horus already. Uh, this part collapsed. And so if that's the case... Oh, no, he's unconscious. I to get back, the man was unconscious. I had to pick him up quickly. As I could tell, the house was going That's a lot to of dead weight to carry. Resilient. You can do this. Oh, sometimes I accidentally push a button and it pauses. Like, even if you just hit the joystick or whatever. Uh, but it, it's kind of funny because he just says everyone else's lines for them and then it will show them still, like, voicing or whatever. But so you only need the one voice actor, which presumably is a robot. I can't, not gonna be able to jump through that. I did it, right? That would be too messed up to, to fail. If Horace comes out of the rubble alone, I'll be real fucking depressed. This music sounds uplifting. You good, Horace? Horace, 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 yeah. Give him some CPR or something, though. He's probably... Take him to a hospital, definitely. Probably got burnt up lungs. I helped the family set up a tent so they had somewhere to stay. The kids were <laughs> so excited helpful. as they got to camp outside, but I think they knew they had just lost their home. They probably knew. When I mentioned probably my hard to, to clean not a million know. things, the man said I should look through the rubble of the house, as they had no use for it. So, when <laughs> everyone was making dinner, I looked through the wreckage. It, it almost makes it seem like that guy is helping. He's like, thank you for saving me. In return, I will help you on your quest. Uh, you can go clean up the ruins of my home and my life. Just, uh, just fix that up for me and then we'll call it even. That seems like a fair deal. There wasn't anything I could clean. But to my astonishment, I found a TV set and a games console. 
With a bit of so fiddling, happy. I was able to get them to work. So I sat pet playing games with the kids <laughs> until their parents said it was bedtime. It's funny because that doesn't seem like he's really doing anything, but in a crisis like that, being able to distract these children and give them like a moment of fun and everything is honestly one of like the sweetest, kindest things Horace could do. It pales in comparison to the fact that he saved their lives and their parents and everything, but like they still lost their home, so I don't know, it's very sweet and endearing to me that he was like, hey kids, let's just play some video games. Very, As we talked, the man nice. opened a bottle of wine. I asked what had happened. Why was everything so ruined? The man looked at the woman, then the woman sighed and said, There was a war. Yes. A war, said the man. One side a of the planet ago. attacked the other, and before we knew... We, it said, like, we can win this war... Uh, something distraction scandal, something like this. Unbelievable nonsense. But one of the sub headlines was just robots. So I'm wondering whether or not robots were a part of this war. We can retaliate. We can still win. If you don't agree, you're evil. Oh, okay. The propaganda and like the warmongering is getting uh, extreme at this point. Before we knew it, it was all over. So that probably was like a mushroom cloud representation. Like this, it's over. It's it's. It was all over. Everything. Nearly dead medium. <laughs> That's the name of their newspaper. Just effing run. Get out. Leave all major city. Everything gone. Everything destroyed. I'm trying to repeat the lines that I interrupt just to help the flow. Everything gone. Everything destroyed. Well, it's late, said the woman. We should really get some sleep. Help yourself to anything you need, and we'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. I should probably venture on my own. I should probably go, like, look for the family. Oh, he can, he can nod the morning, off. I asked the man if he knew He's what basically it caused a real boy. the fire that destroyed their house. The man smiled. Crap old house. Bad wiring. Yeah, when he originally asked what happened, why is everything all ruined, I thought he was asking about the fire. I was genuinely curious about the fire. The kid in the background is playing with a lighter. This kid is an arsonist. Maybe it's accidental, but this kid totally Constant started the fire. From the unreliable power oh, okay, it's more obvious now. Kid. I thought maybe it was going to be more subtle. He said, Jesus. if we had the money, we'd move to the mainland, but we can barely feed ourselves, let alone buy a new house. So for now we're left here Is with the rest money of and commerce like still a thing? Did say I should head to the mainland as there would be plenty there for me to clean and a better quality of rubbish. <laughs> I like said, when the characters laugh to themselves in this game. Wife. I wonder if at any point they've programmed in the horrors text to voice to go like ha 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 and they were like ah, it just makes it weird if we just do characters do a shoulder shrug for their laughing it comes across a bit better. Their kid. That kid ruined their lives. He used to be a fisherman. Fisherwoman. Fishing person. <laughs> I used to catch fish. Interrupted the There woman. you go. <laughs> and seeing as you saved us all from a fiery end, maybe you would like to borrow my boat to get to the mainland. I was a little scared, but then they gave me some captain software and I was an old sort thing they just have pair of handy by captain software. That's weird that that was a thing that they just happened to have. I kind of want to backtrack a little bit because I would love to find some keys for some of these locked areas. That's like one thing that I, I want to figure out. But I also know there was like more junk out this way that I didn't collect. Uh, God, there's like machine guns and stuff. That's like a, what do they call that? Not a bird's nest. Crow's nest? Maybe where it's, it's like a tower where you kind of have like a vantage point. Uh, damn. A little bit of signs of war around here. Yeah, before I move on, I should probably commit a little bit harder to the exploration and cleaning up. Hmm, don't see any junk up there. But what if I do a big jump from across here? Does that get me anywhere new? Is the teddy bear still uh, set up on the edge there? That would have been just like right here on this edge. 
I, I suppose that's long gone, isn't it? That's a, that's a shame. Oh, there's stuff right on the peak there. <laughs> it is kind of uh, just fun to just kind of peacefully explore and just like... The fact that I have to stop and, and collect this stuff is... I don't enjoy that as much. I wish I could go at more of like a breakneck I whatever was pace. I to see an old man, but not as surprised as he was. It turned out he was blind. He was kneeling on the floor with his hand in I don't think he saw us then. That would be really doing. surprising. He said his cat had crawled into the pipes, and he was trying to get her out. Oh. He was very happy when I offered to help. He said there was no way we could reach her from here, so if I was willing, I could make my way through the sewers and get her from the other end. I mean, I appreciate the offer of help. Uh, it would be great if you could help me look, or just go darp, like deep down straight to the sewers, splash around in the muck down there. That's another thing you could do to help. One of, you know, if you, if you don't mind, if you're feeling up to it, some sewers would be great. Presumably, this guy knows I'm a robot. He I said don't know. He would turn off the water for as long as possible, but <laughs> I would have to run as the pipes would soon fill up again. I happily well, agreed. Just don't. So Poop he for like key. 10 he minutes, man. And all the sewer gates. Go through here, then down the ladder, and through the big door at the bottom. Gary Gam Gamel? Gary, it's another Gary. More Gary. Jazz is what's cool. I bet this guy smokes a few jazz cigarettes now and again. Oh, all junk cleared. So this, uh, his, his, like, little house, house or, like, guest room of the home that the family I was with is a part of. I don't, I'm not entirely clear on that. Zero junk here. This is way more about just, uh, directly helping this guy with his cat, I guess. I probably wouldn't really want to clean sewer junk either. If I was having the choice. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Well, okay, luckily... Luckily, when you die, the junk stays collected, so you don't have to repeatedly keep doing it. So if, like, on each little iteration, you dedicate a little bit of time... Oh, I went too aggressive with that jump. You dedicate a second or whatever to stopping and collecting. If you die, then the next attempt, you won't have to do that. So that should let me squeak through. Whew. Oh god, okay, it's still, still going, still going strong. All right, I gotta be faster than that. Ha! Huh. Oh, okay, okay. It rises and falls. Ah, damn it! All right, you gotta go the second it's up. Ah, yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't have to rush as hard in this one. I should stop rushing so much, and I should think through what I'm actually doing here. So as soon as it falls, I chase it, grab the big wheel and stuff. I only have to do it once. Cleaning master is the achievement I just got. I also just died so many times. What is the achievement for? Clean 10,000 things. Ah. So what? I What does that work out to? I only have to do that 100 more times? That's not that crazy. I want to clean it all. I'm trying to clean everything for crying out loud. I don't know if there's uh, more than a million things to clean in this game. I kind of hope that's the case. So I don't have to... Go super crazy collecting every single little thing that comes up, but that kind of might be the case. It kind of might be necessary. How do I collect that bike? Ah, you literally do have to die to collect things now and again. Like, there was no other way to get that. You kind of just had to barely touch its wheel. That wasn't, that wasn't gonna happen. Let me see if I can kind of do a little bit of a skip. Oh, you can't do a skip on there. You have to do the, the long way because of the way that all the electrical grids are. Quick, Sonic jump. Oh, okay, yeah. If you jump while you touch that, then it, it sends you going. No, grab the bike. I can't I can't miss a thing. I'm going full collect-a-thon here. Ah, ah, no, I'm missing the door. I found the <laughs> old man's cat. She was fine, if a little confused. Cute little cat. Ah! I was horrified. It looked like me. I thought that's how the cat was seeing me. Like something from the film we watched on Halloween. <laughs> that's what I was saying at the beginning. This guy like never learned how to walk properly. Oh, I can't. I can't like hop and bop them or anything. 
That's weird. So these are the ro I don't know if these robots were a part of the war. Probably. That's kind of what I think is going on there. But no one loved them. No one taught them how to, like, be a person and how to walk or anything like that. Uh, this would be the one that takes me back, right? Yeah. Ginger Tom the was that was achievement. To have his cat back. He Is that the so cat's name? With her sat on his lap. I told him about the thing I saw, but he just laughed and said, Those bastard robots, they're always getting up through the pipes. Don't worry though, it'll never get through the big doors. If I had my way, we'd have blown up the lot of them when we had the chance. I wasn't sure what he meant. He doesn't know I'm a robot. Now wouldn't be the best time to tell him I was a robot. The robots must have caused the, the war. And said, don't worry, I know who you are. Oh. And told me that he knew the old man. Okay. Oh, maybe he knows a little bit about what happened then. I just realized we never advanced chapter three. I'm doing like multiple side stories right now. Some tea. He said that he had worked for the old man. In fact, he had lost his sight in one of the old man's factories. Oh God! Strangely, I hope he took he after, looked thought. after you after that. He always did me right. He said. That's good. When I had my accident, the old man said he would look after me, and he did. He always made sure I had enough money, and he let me move into this old pumping station on his land. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. That's good to know more about how kind the, the old man was. Then he continued saying, the old man wanted you to have this when you were old enough, but fate wouldn't allow it. He passed me a large box. It was empty. I thought about pretending to be excited. But the man said, Yay. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm just trying to picture what robotic excitement would sound like. Oh, joy. I'm so glad for these gloves. You can't really, your monotone voice probably can't really properly communicate that. Isn't it? He slumped back in his chair. I was ah, shit. months ago. He said, oh. almost in a whisper. That's really it's sad. Strange. They took practically anything metal, but left loads of food and a brand new saxophone. Hmm. The man looked Peculiar. sad, so I thought I would try to change the subject. I told him about my quest to clean a million things. This at least made him smile. He said I was welcome to go back through the pipes any time I wanted, as there were loads of old things in there that could be cleaned away. I think I finished it. Oh, Ginger Tom. Well, I, I should check the achievement. I'm guessing that's what that meant. Return the blind man's cat, Ginger Tom. I, 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 I feel like I did my duty. I think I've cleaned everything down there. I don't, I don't feel the need to further investigate that particular area. Uh, there was something up this way, wasn't there? That I felt like I could have climbed up? No, that's just more of the... The actual house. This. I, I don't know how to get to there. Do I have to jump from the peak of the house? There's still 307 junk outdoors. Oh, oh that seemed like a really good strategy. Plus, there's something cool and, like, daredevil-esque about... Oh, I botched that one about jumping right off the peak like this. Like you're some hardcore super ninja. Damn. I can't, I can't climb up that. Uh, it might be more simple than I'm making it out to be. It might be something more like jumping from across. Oh, there is no second level. <laughs> I thought that that flat part, not the peak, was maybe where I had to jump from. But what if I... Nah, that's not going to do it. Must have to be the peak. Uh, but I should keep a, keep a close eye out for, like, these side missions and stuff. Because it's fun to, like, get the little bit of story, meet the different characters... Come on! Maybe I need the gloves. Maybe I need the gloves to be able to do something like that. It allows for more different things to be climbed, maybe? Alright, I'll do a quick uh, extra look around the estate grounds. I want to look at what it considered, what it called the game or the, the area specifically and if there's like another little side mission, I'll probably save that for the next episode. If that's it, if I wrapped up everything that there is to be done at the estate uh, in terms of like helping people then I'll I'll move along 
I have to assume, uh, out of all the characters, at the very least, Heather survived. Otherwise, this game is too messed up, man. Why can I open that one? What? The ruined gatehouse? I have no concept of why I was allowed through that one specifically. Uh, I guess I need to try more of these locked doors when I come across them? Is it like a progress thing? Like, why would I be allowed? Can we play basketball? That would be awesome. The National Brownies Association, the NBA. <laughs> the gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. Why did I have a gatehouse key? Did I find it somewhere in like the rubble and things like that? I totally do not understand that. But there is clearly like an insane amount of weird extra little side things that you can do. Maybe not weird, maybe weird's a bad descriptor, but like there's a lot of backtracking opportunities in this game to go explore little nope <laughs> little side content like that uh, I'm trying to jump across to here there we go oh I can keep on traveling up what waits no I cleaned all that I did that already but I missed one can oh how could I ever forgive myself I'm trying to I'm trying to see oh there totally is some stuff out to the far side there I probably got to get like an umbrella or some sort of gentlemanly mechanic like that to, to float across like Mary Poppins that's my prediction at least well if I don't exactly have keys for these areas right now I do want to go back here really quickly and see if for whatever reason I magically suddenly have a key to the locked gate that existed back uh, this way. Hmm, it does let me through that. Oh, do you have to collect all of the junk first in the area? It might be something like that. That's the only guess I have right now. What? <laughs> uh, there's like a weird rocket power to Horus going on I'll just I'll just allow him to do his own little thing I guess I'll just do mine my usual uh, semi suicidal thing that's just that's just how I roll oh he's, he's so fast hmm but this might be like a section that I, I don't have the appropriate upgrades to do like, I clearly can't interact with it, with whatever this is just yet. That would be used to, like, raise that gate. So the game does require some level of backtracking in order to accomplish these things. If anyone knows precisely how you access the locked doors, please let me know. Because I'd rather not just have to guess the whole time. But the best I have to go off of is collecting all the junk. Well... I think that's as much as I can currently do for Chapter 3 then. I, I helped the family and the, and the blind man, and now from from what's left to do at the estate, I don't think there's anything else I can actively do right now. So I'll, I'll be making my way to the mainland in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.